Hi there, and welcome to our video on what happens to your body after your last cigarette. If you're a smoker or you've recently quit, you may be curious about the changes that happen in your body over time. In this video, we'll go over a general timeline of what happens after a person's last cigarette. Within just 20 minutes of quitting smoking, your blood pressure and heart rate begin to decrease. This is great news for your cardiovascular health, as smoking can put a lot of strain on your heart and increase your risk of heart disease. After 8 hours, the levels of nicotine and carbon monoxide in your blood decrease by half. This allows oxygen levels to increase to normal levels, which means that your body can start healing. After 24 hours, carbon monoxide is eliminated from your body, and your lungs begin to clear up mucus and other smoking-related debris. This is a sign that your lungs are starting to repair themselves after the damage caused by smoking. Within 48 hours, your body has eliminated all nicotine from your system, and you'll notice that your ability to taste and smell begins to improve. Smoking can damage your taste buds and sense of smell, making it harder to enjoy food and appreciate scents. After 72 hours, you'll notice that breathing becomes easier as your bronchial tubes begin to relax and your lung capacity increases. Smoking can narrow your airways and make it harder for you to breathe, but quitting smoking can help your lungs heal and improve your breathing. Over the next 2 to 12 weeks, your circulation and lung function will continue to improve. This is because smoking can damage your blood vessels and reduce the amount of oxygen in your blood, but quitting smoking can help your blood vessels heal and increase the amount of oxygen in your blood. Between 1 to 9 months, you'll experience a decrease in coughing and shortness of breath, and your lung function will increase by up to 10%. This is because smoking can damage your lung tissue and cause inflammation, which can lead to coughing and shortness of breath, but quitting smoking can help your lungs heal and improve your breathing. After one year, your risk of coronary heart disease will be half that of a smoker's. Smoking is a major risk factor for heart disease, but quitting smoking can help reduce your risk and improve your heart health. After five years, your risk of stroke is the same as a non-smoker's. Smoking can increase your risk of stroke by damaging your blood vessels and increasing your blood pressure, but quitting smoking can help reduce your risk and improve your blood pressure. After 10 years, your risk of lung cancer will be half that of a smoker's. Smoking is the leading cause of lung cancer, but quitting smoking can help reduce your risk and improve your overall health. And finally, after 15 years, your risk of coronary heart disease is the same as a non-smoker's. This means that your body has fully recovered from the damage caused by smoking, and you're no longer at increased risk of heart disease. So, there you have it. This is a general timeline of what happens to your body after your last cigarette. It's important to note that these timelines are general and can vary based on factors such as the individual's age, how long they smoked, and how much they smoked. However, quitting smoking has numerous health benefits and can improve overall well-being. If you're a smoker, quitting smoking can be one of the most important decisions you make for your health. It's not easy, but it's definitely worth it. There are many resources available to help you quit smoking, such as nicotine replacement therapy, counseling, and support groups. Remember, quitting smoking is a journey, and it's okay if you stumble along the way. Just keep going, and don't give up. Your body will thank you for it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health-related content. See you soon.